Perfect. So it's 11 a.m. in uh, Brentford. And yet again, I am glad to welcome you guys all to the first of the webinar program focused uh, series for Wilco Glory International College. Today we are talking about computer science specifically. And thanks everyone for joining. Uh, my name is Daria. I'm the marketing manager at Wilco Glory University. You might know me, or you might also know my dear colleague, Michelle, who's working with some of you guys. So we're both happy to support you from the day when you were issued an offer letter and by the time you come here and study and start your classes at WLIC. So really happy to see you all. Uh, this session is recorded. So if you need to leave earlier or someone is joined later, don't worry, the recording will be shared next week. So um, in terms of the questions, uh, we'll um, do the presentation for now and then please type your question in the chat or after the uh presentation you can just uh, unmute yourself and ask so let's start it rolling computer science there we go uh let me just show you guys a real quick video about the computer science program and then i uh, will um uh start the start presenting Computer science is basically just the study of everything computers. My interest in computer science started when I was in high school and I just fell in love with it. I knew it was what I wanted to go to school for. Some people love making apps, so they go into software engineering. Some people love more of the math side of it and making algorithms and figuring out different problems. And then some people like me really like the electronic side of it. The key things for computer science at Laurier have to be those smaller class sizes. That plus you get great options for co-op. You get a lot of that hands-on experience through the labs. It just makes it overall a great rounded program. I really love the balance between hands-on work and theory work. So in your first year, you'll do a lot of very intro programming, learn some of the necessary data structures. And that all ends up being really useful no matter what area of computers you go into. Your second year, you get a lot of those more advanced data structures as well as you start to get into working with graphics and that sort of thing. Once you get into your third and fourth year, you really get to target what you want to do. And I think that's really, really cool. Software engineering, machine learning, AI, big data, you can really make the degree what you want it to be. All of the profs here are great. A lot of them have experiences in the computer science industry, and they're always willing to go the extra mile to help you. Just being there and a part of it really inspires me to up my game. Computer science can really lead anywhere. It's crazy the amount of different career paths. I chose to study at Laurier because I knew I'd be getting a quality education, and I knew it's where I would fit in. Oh, there you go. That was a quick overview of the program at Laurier University uh, Computer Science. Um, right now, let's dig into the details and I will be happy to tell you more about every aspect of your future degree and feel free to ask any questions in the chat if you have them. So let's start from the demand and let me tell you how the computer industry is in, evolving in Canada. So uh, I think <laughs> there's needless to mention that Computer science and IT industry is booming, I think, everywhere, all over the world, not only in Canada. So uh, the demand for computer science specialists and AI in particular will be increasing by 32% in the nearest um, years. And there are thousands of software engineering jobs and also more than 90% of students uh, immediately enter into the uh, their jobs. So technically the demand will be growing and we will also be uh, doing the research on the uh, industries which will be in demand in Canada for at least 10 to 15 years, the nearest ones when you guys will be graduating. And guess what? Uh, out of top 15 jobs in Canada, I would say like top seven positions are all computer science related. So needless to say, the computer science industry is uh, trending in Canada for sure. Here are some of the sample works and jobs that you can get after graduation and the um, sample annual salary. It's a median salary average for sure. So you can start from 
some kind of a minimum salary and then uh, grow your career. But as you can see, you can start from earning, um, starting from $60,000 per per year and up to 110 and even more uh, depending on your position and the company you work for so this is really a great opportunity with the increased salary range so that's really great uh, career path for you for sure so in terms of the computer science at Lori specifically uh, if you guys like algorithm solving problems, electronic side of uh, mobile app, if you would like the digital electronics and data structures, they're seeing how the um, uh, programs work, how to code, uh, like you, you like math, but more, more into the uh, algorithm math and problem solving math, that's definitely uh, the program for you. So if you, you will definitely learn like computing fundamentals and paradigm and logic and solving problems, that's what you will definitely gain the, uh, the knowledge about. So um, in terms of the WLAC, our students start their first year uh, at the campus of Laurier in Brentford, which is one hour drive from Toronto, and it's really close. And the city is vibrant and lovely, and it's really close knit community with, because the campus is actually located in the city center in the Brentford downtown. There are around 18 buildings on campus. So it's all around a couple of blocks and a couple of streets. Uh, however, two, three minute walk from, uh, from every building and from your residence as well, which is really convenient. And all the classes are equipped um, up to date. And we also offer the online um, education hybrid study mode. So you will definitely make sure to have the latest uh, equipment that you need. And there is also the Waterloo campus, which some of you might know about. I think you might look forward to transferring there as well, because the computer science specifically, a computer science student specifically, uh, after completing the first year at WLSC and Brentford campus of Laurier transfer to year two, three, and four and complete um, their degree at Waterloo campus. It's actually even larger and has all, um, all the uh, facilities and laboratories for the computer science program. So as you can see, it's also huge and beautiful. So you will definitely have um, everything you need in terms of the software. Uh, in terms of the progression, I get the question a lot, and I think that's one of the concerns that the student have. So my answer to that is don't be concerned about your transfer as the transfer requirement is really doable. It's around 65% of academic success, meaning if you reach the 65% of your marks within the first year, you are um, transferring to year two, okay and uh, no other additional exams required. Um, so just be, you know, study well. All the students who, uh, who have transferred to year two that I've been in touch with, uh, they just say that you have just to study hard, study diligently, uh, do your assignments on time, and you will be fine with that. And during the WSC first year, you will get the old fundamentals knowledge that you need for your future studies at Laurier during years two, three, and four. So just uh, this is just a sample classes that you will have. I know it's a little bit confusing with the names, but um, make sure that, uh, like, be, be sure that you will learn all the uh, disciplines that you require uh, for your future um, computer science job related. So uh, within, so, so with Laurier, the uh, credit calculation is a little bit different. So you guys know that the Canadian education system is credit-based, meaning that you earn credits for completing certain courses, classes uh, during your bachelor degree. So every year you will be earning five credits and doing mandatory 10 courses, uh, 0.05 credit for each course. So when you complete your bachelor degree, you will earn a full uh, 20 credits, which is considered a full bachelor degree uh, for the Canadian education system. So if you have any questions on that, please feel, let me know. So, and these are some uh, disciplines and some knowledge that you will um, uh, inquire other than others, of course. So it's um, uh, software engineering, of course, and database and encoding and the programming languages and uh, algebra for 
um, linear uh, linear work. So in terms of the languages, you can see that technically you will learn all the languages existing right now, but we're also keeping track of the modern trends and uh, in case any new language appears, we will definitely make sure to add it into the system. So to make sure you have the modern and latest knowledge required. So in terms of the uh, additional knowledge. So what I try to tell the students is uh, for becoming the successful professional in Canada and successful student, try to think long term and add as much skills and knowledge to your bachelor's degree as you can. And Laurier is a really great, great place for offering you such an opportunity. So uh, the students at Laurier, while you guys are doing your bachelor degree, you will also have an opportunity to take additional classes with the University of Waterloo, which is also one of the um, best computer science schools in Canada. So let's say you are doing the degree at Laurier and then you can also take artificial intelligence class uh, with the University of Waterloo additionally, which is really great for your resume, for your uh, future job search. So like wh 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 whatever you add on to your bachelor degree always helps you to stand out and start your successful career. So this um, the system is called cross-registration. So through this cross-registration system, you will be able to add uh, to take additional courses at the University of Waterloo. There are certain requirements, but yet again, they're still also doable. There have to be minimum of credits and uh, uh, which are three credits, meaning six courses done, and you have to have the uh, average uh, success percentage of 62%, uh, which is also really doable. It just, uh, it, it's average, I would say. So, and yet again, the artificial intelligence, the demand is, uh, demand is really high. And uh, I think you can, you can notice that there are so many jobs that include this skill. So that's, that's really great because you will, um, you will get the courses at Laurie and those additional ones that I mentioned at the University of Waterloo. So, and then speaking of enhancing your degree. So like I said, whichever, whatever you um, knowledge and skills you add to your bachelor degree at Laurie will immensely help you to stand out from other competitors and be more desired for future employers for sure after you graduate. So Laurie offers you different options to um, enhance and add on to your bachelor degree, which is combined major, minors, and options. So technically, this is something, this are additional area of concentrations to your bachelor degree. So uh, for minors, for example, you will need to add uh, like the second area of concentration, which is uh, I think minimum five courses. So you just like add it on. So for example, you are doing computer science and you can uh, do the minor in business let's say, right? So this will definitely uh, complete, just, just add um, to your skills for your future job. And then option is as well is additional 10 courses, a little bit uh, more uh, additional area of concentration. So let's say you can, uh, you are doing the computer science uh, bachelor with Laurie, and then you can also have option in UX design, which is also really trending uh, area of concentration in Canada, or for example, the business or economics, or I don't know, even sociology, why not? So depending on your skills and depending on your preferences, you can add on those additional um, skills and knowledge to your uh, degree. And yet again, speaking of the location, I did mention that um, Lori uh, campuses are located in Brentford and Waterloo, and specifically Waterloo, when you guys transfer to year two, this is actually where you want to be, because uh, Waterloo is considered the Canadian Silicon Valley, I could say, with um, more than 15,000 companies, IT-related companies located in the area, you will definitely be in demand for the job market and will be able to look for your co-op and then maybe postgraduate work. So let's say such companies as Shopify, Google, Amazon offices, they're all located in the Waterloo area. And yet again, I also done the research that overall Ontario province of Canada uh, within the past five years was offering even more jobs than the actual Silicon Valley in the US. So 
that's definitely the place you want to be and you want to study the computer science. Speaking of work experience, that's definitely one of the uh, crucial part of your business degree, uh, of your uh, computer science degree. And Lori also offers the uh, co-op and the work experience even within your degree. So you will be having it starting from year three. Uh, and you will actually have two options, either standard co-op, which is usually um, eight months. And then there's also professional experience program, so-called PEP program, right? Uh, both of them are beneficial and you can just take advantage of both of, uh, both of them. You don't have to decide right now. You will decide at the beginning of year two, I would say, and then you will need to apply for any of that and start your work, work experience within your degree. So technically, by the time you graduate, uh, you will also already have the practical work experience, which will make you even more successful uh, job searcher uh, and for, for the potential um, employers. And there are possible computer science co-op and PAP positions like data scientist, like technical writer and cloud developer and all the computer science related discipline. For so in terms of the, uh, oh, just to mention, yeah, this really important fact that all positions are paid. So technically you will be working and earning salary, uh, which also, and you don't pay tuition uh, for the university during your uh, co-op. So basically you're working, getting the practical skills, you're earning money and you, are, you, you will be able to use this money possibly to you, towards your tuition payment, which is also a great opportunity for making your bachelor degree more affordable. So this is the professional experience program that I mentioned. So the standard co-op is usually eight months, but then the professional experience, the PEP program is uh, up to 16 months of consecutive work experience, which is great because you might be involved in the larger or longer projects in the company that you might work for. So this is another great opportunity for you. It starts from the end of the second year. So you will apply for co-op or PEP program at the beginning of second year, as I mentioned before. So this is just the comparison chart. So both co-op and professional experience program will give you uh, the valuable work experience and practical skills and ability to apply your knowledge into practice, uh, which uh, the, the requirements for applying are uh, pretty similar. It's around 70 to 72% of uh, uh, the academic success and certain number of credits have to be completed already. So um, the, the duration is different, the structure is different. So co-op is three terms, uh, 12 months in total, but with the break. So it's a uh, semester of study, semester of work, semester of study again, and then work again. So the system is like that. While professional experience program, as I mentioned, is consecutive work experience without the breaks. It's 12 to 16 months. So uh, like I said, you don't have to decide right now. Uh, you will definitely decide in your year two, but just bear in mind that you will have uh, not only one uh, option for work experience, but actually two of them. And uh, as you can see, the students are really happy about the skills and technical and the experience they, uh, they earned at Laurier, which you will definitely get to. So yet again, there is also the opportunity, like I said, so, so for so, so building a business network in Canada and for uh, becoming the like starting your successful career you have to be knowledgeable uh, you have to be in the industry right so you have to showcase your personality and your professionalism so uh, Lori also gives you opportunity for that so for example you can uh, take part in different programming courses and programming competition meeting the representatives of local startups um, that Lori invites for the events. So that's another thing that we support you with during your uh, starting your uh, career. And there is also another uh, option to, con uh, to connect with computer science students. It's the uh, undergraduate capstone open source projects uh, that you can get involved in and meet new people, meet new friends, start building your uh, network. And it's an opportunity to also work in a project and this will be added into your resume and you probably get the reference letter as well, which is yet again, whatever you do additionally, 
will enhance your resume and become your more uh, desired professional for future employers. Yet again, you can also involve yourself in the research, like the studies or research and labs, uh, like algorithm theories, the pattern recognitions, and uh, you know theories and laser optics, whatever you're interested in. Yet again, the lorry provides you that opportunity to showcase yourself and we are talking much about the um the classes and the studies however at uh, uh laurie and at wilf laurie international college we're also happy to um to give you an opportunity to enjoy a student experience so not only the study but also enjoy meeting people from all over the world it's just as minimum 25 countries represented it represented uh and there are also more than 250 student-like clubs which you can join and they can be just the hobby clubs related to your uh the activities you would like to do or they can also be connected to the computer science program, of course. So this could be like women in computer science, this could be hardware engineering club or uh, VR laureate club. So definitely something to uh, something to look forward to and joining. So um, just to wrap up, just to summarize what I've said is the uh, Lori provides you with a quality education and the quality of uh, teachers for sure. And there are uh, opportunities to not only get the knowledge, but also put it into practice and then um, start your successful career and get great job outcomes. And then there's also the fun and friendly student community with the students from um, like more than 25 countries. And uh, you can uh, not only make friends, but also start building your business network uh, because the referral um, referrals are really important for the uh, for your future career and the job search and uh it's kind of like adds on to your chances of getting a job here so meaning the more people you know the better <laughs> so uh that's it in terms of the computer science program let me also check real quick and tell you about wlc and the uh additional um uh, perks that we're offering just a second so i will um, stop sharing for now and just use a couple of additional slides for you guys. So just give me a quick second. Sorry about that. So in terms of the WLSC, you will ask, okay, so how is WLSC connected to uh, Wilfrid Laurier uh, University? So just to uh, give you um, an overall idea is that... Um, uh, Wilfrid Laurier International College provides you with the uh, first uh, the, with a program which is equal to the first year of bachelor degree and you will say okay what's the difference why would I need to do WLSC and this the answer is simple so the uh, WLSC is the affiliated college of Wilfrid Laurier University which means this is uh, the uh, so we are the partner of Wilfrid Laurier University and helping international students to adapt and have the smoother first year uh, of their bachelor degree with a transfer to year two at Wilfrid Laurier University and the idea for is for you guys to feel as comfortable and as um, smooth as possible for um, you know just for um, adapting and for adjusting to your new country new culture new language probably uh, to have more support from the teachers from the advising team uh, and just to you know connect with the people who can help you starting from your day one until you actually complete your first year. So this is just a sample chart. Uh, so uh, many of you are enrolled in the UTP stage two program, which is, as you can see, actually equal to the first year of bachelor degree, and you will be transferring to second year of uh, Wilfrid Laurier University and completing second, third and fourth year. So four years overall. So it doesn't mean that you are extending your degree, it doesn't mean you pay more, it's actually even uh uh it's it's kind of even better not, not, not better but just so it, it helps you for sure with the scholarship opportunities with the support you get so it's smaller classes uh and with the um uh, quick uh, uh, offer issue with a quick support you guys know that uh myself and michelle are really 
supportive to you through WhatsApp and the emails. So there are also options for the students who probably don't have a math 12 um, uh, in your high school, but you still want to do computer science. So uh, at WLSC, we can still accept you with math 10 grade only, and you can still do the science program. And then for your visa, assessment of flexibility. So whenever you apply for a visa, you know that right now the timing of assessment might fluctuate. So uh, WLSC also offers this so-called hybrid study mode whereby you can start your classes online and then uh, while your visa is still pending. And then when, the, um, uh, when your visa is approved, you can come to Canada and continue in person, even mid-semester, anytime your visa is approved. So that's really great flexibility that we're offering. And then we are offering three intakes, uh, no deadlines, which is really great as well. So you can start in January, May, and September, and um, also have more support from the teachers, more class time, just to ensure you have one-to-one -one support and the required um, uh, you know, assistance and attention that you definitely need. In terms of the ranking as well, let me just highlight that Laurier University is uh, among top universities in Canada all the time, especially in terms of the student satisfaction, extracurricular activities and quality of teaching, which is really important. In terms of the student satisfaction, it's a really interesting uh, point that you have to um, pay attention while choosing the university. So student satisfaction, it means that the students are really happy about not only how Lori teaches, about the quality of teaching, about the facilities, but also about the opportunities, both academic and work-wise, uh, that Lori provides, which is actually kind of like giving you the full jump start of your education and uh, possible future career in Canada, which is really important. And another important point that you want to consider while choosing Laurier is the employment rate. Uh, I've told a lot about the work experience and the importance of uh, the place in the knowledge and to practice skills, right? So uh, employment rate is the factor that shows how many students have found their jobs or proceeded to master degree within six months after they graduated. So our rate is almost 95%, which is really, really high compared to average of like 84. So there you go, meaning that you will have really good opportunity for your uh, job search and for your employment uh, with uh, after you complete your uh, bachelor degree at Laurier. So let me just uh, stop sharing the recording for now and we will see if you have any questions. Thank you so much for being attentive. Let's let's check the um, the WhatsApp, uh, oh sorry, not the WhatsApp, the, the Zoom chat right now for any questions available. Feel free to, to type. 